Hey kids, today we'll be looking at my top 37 list from YCS to Valu, this Cloudian Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, a lot of this is, you know, pretty standard. I mean, we all know this deck, we all love this deck. But, yeah, I, I do have a couple inclusions to adapt to the metagame, you know, to pair for meta threats that, you know, you wouldn't normally be um, playing cards for in Cloudian RDA. Uh, but, you know, I thought that it was important to tech for the metagame, and it came up a lot. Um, I'm just going to go into the card by card and explain it as we go. First off, three smoke ball. You know, you you would you would play four if you could, but unfortunately you can't. Uh, this card is limited to three. It is what it is. Very important. Can't skim on these. We got one Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Uh, this is an engine requirement for our Galactic Karibos. Uh, normally, these would be Magic Karibo, but I'm experimenting with Galactic Karibo because I think that having Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is just a little bit better than having Dark Magician, especially because uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon easily clears the Evil Eye Xyz deck, which is just running around way too much lately. Um, you know, being able to uh, to stop them from making Grand Pulse and using that to pop your uh, Symbols of Heritage is so good. We got three Dyna Tag. It's one of the best hand traps in the game for a reason. We're on three. Being able to pump itself from the grave is also super important. That's actually what won me my my top 65 game. Um, you know, normal summon Dyna Tag by tributing over Storm Dragon and then, you know, pump it with the Dyna Tag in my graveyard. Uh, we got three Walk Kinetic Pump Tier. This card really shines in Valance 2TK. Um, yeah, it's just so strong. It's able to screw them up so much by moving their Shinonome to a position where it can't move further and blocks the movements of two other monsters that they have. It's just so good. People have started playing around it, but I still don't think we got it. Three, Cloudian Storm Dragon. It's the best extender. It represents another smoke ball. It's just so good. Three, Turbulence. This is one of our main starters. It summons smoke balls from deck. I mean, obviously, we're going to play it. Three, Ringo Worm. This card really does feel like it was made for this deck, for Cloudians. And this is what enables the Red Dragon Archfiend half of the deck to be accessible. Um, we got the three, Galacticribo, as we mentioned earlier, and three, Perform Pal, Rain Goat. Uh, this is for the Rika FTK. Um, I... I a lot of people don't like Rain Goat. A lot of people think it's too niche, think it's worth citing, but this was a best of one format, and I just can't afford to be caught off guard. Three Red Dragon Vaz. Uh, this is going to basically just draw me into more engines. So, you know, if I'm if I break up, you know, I can just draw deeper. You know, first I have to get to Red Dragon Archfiend, but ever since the uh ever since the ban on OTKs was uh was enacted i you know you're gonna have the time so i set up so i'm playing uh red dragon vase to capitalize on that three cloudy and aerosol uh this card is functionally just three more copies of fog control which is our next card uh this card's definitely a lot worse though so i don't know i i like it i wouldn't cut it but i much prefer fog control which we are obviously playing three of we're on three symbol of heritage this is for power tool dragon lines and three King Scarlet, which protects our Red Dragon Archfiends. In the extra, we have one Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane to reborn our Red Dragon Archfiends. Two Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. This is the payoff. Being able to summon tuners from your graveyard is just so strong. Two Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. That board wipe effect does come up frequently and often. Two Blood Mephis. This card is really, really strong into the Ninja Labyrinth matchup. Uh, being able to burn them every time they set a card is just, it's so good. It really puts a clock on them. One Power Tool Dragon for Fringe Lines. One Red Wyvern for uh, if we get interrupted. A Muddy Mud Dragon as part of our basic setup. An Old Entity Cthugua for High Roll Hands. Shamison Samsara Sorrow Cat also for High Roll Hands. Martial Metal Marcher is the heart and soul of the deck, allowing us to ladder with Ringo Worm and a Smoke Ball. And two Defender Labyrinth for Bricked Hands. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick test hand, and uh, that'll be all. 
Now here you can see we've opened really well. We've got our full combo and we've got Dynatag and Vaz for later. So we're going to start things off strong. We're going to normal summon Turbulence and activate its effect to place a Fog Counter. Then we're going to activate Turbulence to summon a Smoke Ball. We'll activate Fog Control, triggering the Smoke Ball to put three counters on Turbulence and then remove all three counters for three Smoke Balls. Then we're going to go ahead and summon Ringo Worm once that's all said and done. And that's going to allow us to make Martial Metal Marcher, which will summon back the Ringo Worm. We'll Synchro for Muddy Mud Dragon, and then banish the Ringo Worm for 100 Apples Token. That makes Sorrow Cat, and then Red Dragon Abyss. We'll put back the Mud Dragon for Sorrow Cat, and then make Cthugua. Then go into a Power Tool Dragon, now a Tuner because of Martial Metal Marcher, and we'll search Symbol of Heritage to reborn the Smoke Ball. And now we can make Hot Red Dragon Archdeem. If you expect that you're going into Ninja Labyrinth, this could be a Blood Mephis too. I just wanted the Red Dragon Archfiend so I could destroy all monsters on the field that were in face-up attack position. I hope this has been insightful, and I hope that you give this deck a try as well. Clearly it works. Top 37 at YCS Tuvalu is no joke. It was a very competitive event. Don't ask me the player count. But it was really, really exciting. I'm glad that I've finally earned uh, a YCS prize card. Uh, I was a little surprised when it was Pokey Draco, but you know what? I guess that they, uh, after, the, after the designer strike, I can understand why they would just want to reprint something. Anyway, I'll see you all next time when I give you a deck profile on the next deck I hope to top with. Uh, I'm thinking that the, next, that the call for the next format is probably going to be Isolde Cardians, but I don't know. Playing 13 bricks just sounds... I, I, it'll take some convincing. All right, see ya.